So the other day, I was looking back at some old figures and stuff, and I happened to stumble across this one. And uh, this one um, is really interesting because it's it's closer to what I originally remember Miku as. Um, this figure came back out in out in uh, 2008, so it's pretty old by today. <laughs> and um, on top of that, this was made by uh, Volks. So if you've seen my um, you've seen or you've seen other collectors and such that they have Dolphy Dreams. That's who makes that, but you know, not only do they make that, but they also make um, uh, other model kits and other figures and a whole bunch of other stuff that you can get. Not only just their their Dolphy Dreamline, but uh, I just really, I, I really got interested in this figure just because of the fact that it's Miku, but it's and then also made by Volks. And um, I don't have any figures by Volks. I only have the the Dolphy Dream, <laughs> you know, and then in like one outfit and then the bag or something like that. Um, so I don't have too much by them, so I was kind of curious and interested in this figure, and then like I said, on top of that, this is kind of what um, me when I first was in high school and hearing about Hansuri Miku and um, how she was like a singer and really popular and all these figures, merchandise, all this thing. I thought that was really cool, and that's what kind of got me interested in and in getting it because I'm pretty sure everybody's seen this art um, more towards her original like first. Um, art that they had of her and kind of what um, I really remember because um, of course I remember seeing this back um, in like Hot Topic freaking everywhere and of course I think I even had a shirt with this, exi this exact same art on it um, so yeah so it, it's kind of cool to see this and uh, really cool to see um, what a good deal I got on it as well because I bought this used um, there we go I bought it used so uh, I think it was about nine dollars, ten dollars used, uh, of course. But uh, shipping was a pain because you know stuff's all messed up right now. So I ended up just trying to figure out the cheapest, slowest way. But it got here eventually because um, I know I have I have seen these going for around a hundred or more um, online. But that's of course brand new. So I got it used. So um, I thought the packaging was going to be in a bit worse of condition, but I mean for for being how old it is, that it is, um, I really can't complain. This is this is pretty dang good. I feel like everything's in it. Um, she even has her alternate hand piece. I I keep seeing pictures of her with her hands down and with her hands up. Uh, I wasn't too sure, but um, looking further into it, um, she does have alternate hand pieces, which is really cool. First, I'm gonna take off the bay. Dude, the base is actually really glossy. I got a little bit of scuffs, but that's okay. That's fine. Let me get it to focus. There we go. There's some scratches on it, some light scuffs. There's some more on it that I can see, but they're really light. Kind of like swirl marks, but that's uh, the printing is still good on there. The uh, foot grooves and everything look fine. Can I see the. There you go. Yeah, you can see the the year it came out on that there we go 2008 so like I said 2008 um, so this is pretty old of a figure it's pretty solid base I'm, I kinda really like how it has something on it not just plain uh, let's take a look at her hair oh her hair's hollow you see that a really light plastic and we got some scuffs right there not too bad some more scuffs Right there, more scuffs. Uh, it looks like a little damage right there. It's interesting. This is really light. There's like no weight at all of this. Um, maybe I'll wipe it down one more time before I put it all together, but uh, put it back. But anyways, take a look at next piece, next piece. Come on, focus. Her face, her face looks good. All right, not, not too much detail. Small little nose. Um, there is a is there glitter to her? No, not really. There's no like sometimes they put like glitter like specks, little flakes in the in the wrist section, but nothing there. Um, her O1's there. Is it writing or no? It, I don't know. It's hard for me to see even um, the little writing where like a little name badge kind of thing would be at the skirt. 
side. Oh, her nails. I didn't realize her nails are painted. Uh, looks like a was it the water slides? Yeah, water slides looking like. Okay, in the back. I should give her a good white, a good clean. Just make sure I get anything. Let's check out her shoes. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Actually, some shine to that. There's more shine to the the bottom of her shoe than the top. But this is kind of more like a matte. Um, but it looks like overall looks good though. I mean, I know I did see some people complaining that uh, it was kind of expensive at the time. Um, it looked like it was about seventy, seventy, sixty dollars when it came out. And for yeah, it looked like closer to seventy, around seventy dollars when it came out back in two thousand eight, which is a lot. Thinking about what you get. Come on, could be putting in the wrong one. Is that? Hold on. Oh, great. Oops. All right about that. Okay, her other hair, let's check the other hair real quick. This doesn't seem as have, oh, it has some scuffing as well. Nothing too bad, but again, it's this weird, like, hollow. Oh, yeah, you can see a seam line right there. This might be hollow, and they just pressed it together. Yeah, that's weird. But, I mean, I could see that. They did that to save. No? It doesn't look right. What the heck? Oops, there goes the peg. <laughs> All right, let me figure this out. All right, so I got it figured out. It's still a little wonky. I might have to um, glue this together. I think the glue maybe just since it's fairly old, just come undone. Um, like I said, this is a really old oh, five, five figures today. Uh, it's a fairly old figure. I think it's supposed to be up there like that, kind of. Yeah, it looks about right. Um, so it's just not supporting it anymore with whatever glue it had there. Uh, so that's why it's kind of wonky. But it's okay. I mean, I got it for super cheap. Um, it is authentic. So, you know, I'm cool with that. Um, and this is going to be for me. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, I mean, yeah, just that glue. Glue just gave up over time. Uh, let me try out her other arm real quick. Yeah, this other one's coming off too. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Come on. Got it. All right, let's try her other arm out real quick. Okay. There we go. There we go. Put her arm out without any, without her twin tails. All right. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm definitely have to glue these back on. I mean, the arms come off really easily. They come off pretty good. That's a lot more um, easier than the uh, than our twin tails. But I definitely gotta glue those. I forgot something, but I mean, I could I could see why some people were complaining. Because uh, I mean, these aren't even glossy. These are matte. There's not too much detail in it or shininess. You know, nice glossiness to it. Maybe it might come out a little bit better when I clean her off, but again, I bought her used, so I'm not too worried about that. I got it for really cheap, and the base is actually really nice. The base is pretty nice for for what I got, so, but um, I think that's pretty much everything I could think of. Um, just got to fix that few stuff up, and then, I mean, the box came in super good shape, so I really can't complain about much for, for how cheap I got it. Um, I'm just going to keep it for myself, of course. Um, or who knows, um, whatever happens, but yeah, I think that's, that's all I got for today, so thanks for watching.